hello so today you already know what's up because it's in the title but listen i'm not no any way none of that i barely wear makeup this is like a very like average review type beat because of the fact I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I was in cosmetology school, but it was hair-based. And I know a little bit because I used to watch people. And then I learned a little bit from my classmate slash friend, Camilla. Her name not Camilla. That's just what I call her. But this, this lady right here. And I don't know. I feel like. If an average person can use it, then it's good. But this is the brand that I'm reviewing today, Thread. Hopefully I'm saying it right because I don't know what other way to say this. But the packaging is cute. It's real cute. It's giving Gen Z type beat. Why do I keep saying that? And what I mean by that, I mean like you know, we like, am I part of Gen Z? I don't know where I'm at. I'm pretty sure I'm Gen Z. I'm like, I don't care too much about the like generation crap because it's pros and cons to each generation. So but generally, I mean by like the color, colors, colors. Because of the fact that one brand, I can't think of the name, but it was like skincare and it's like the bright colors and crap. Like that's the new thing. It's very eye catching. And that might be one of the reasons why the ads spoke to me. Not just that. It was just because. I don't know. It just spoke to me, man. Stop grilling me. And I never used the stick foundation. I use liquid. And I used powder before. But not a stick one. But the video that sold me was this video. Color matching with thread. The average person is going to be two shades. So I'm 170, which is the lighter shade. That's going to go in the T-zone area. And then 180 is going to go down the jawline. I'm going to blend that out to make the perfect, perfect, seamless complexion. Then to find your concealer shade, you're going to be two to three shades lighter than your foundation shade. Then your contour is going to be four shades darker. And the brighter under eye is going to be five to six shades darker. Then you're going to blend that out. Look how even that is, y'all. And flawless results. But I think I, I grabbed the wrong shades on accident. Because I was going based off of my ColourPop concealer. Because this is the main thing I use for makeup. But this is um one medium 100 warm and what i got is 110 medium golden and then 130 medium warm golden now we might be okay i could also be reading my undertones wrong I don't know. Gold stuff always look better on my skin complexion. So I feel like that's right. And that's besides the point. But I will be trying some other stuff today. But this is just the main event. But I also be trying this tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. I got this in 120 as well. So, hopefully, the sun hit a bit and made this my color. And maybe this is my actual color. I don't know. Because, I don't know. The 101, it just was the perfect color for me. That to the point is just basically, I use this as a spot corrector. I wanted to try this because I haven't tried that. And I usually have like... I think I'd be getting the wrong color or it's just the type of foundations I try. But I wanted to see if I would like this because this could be my new go-to if I think I like it. 
And then I also have the e.l.f. Grip Primer. I've been wanting to try this. Um, the same Camille. She tried this on me. I believe she tried this one on me at one point. But I know for a fact she tried the jelly one on me. And I think it did what it do. I'm just saying. I'm going to try that thing from the commercial where I'm going to put this out and then try to stick this to my face. We're going to do that. And then the last thing I grabbed was this dewy coconut setting spray. Because I have this, which I got from Timu. And it's supposed to be shimmery. It didn't show up too shimmery for me. But... The scent is okay. Like, nothing to boast about, nothing to say ugh about. But I just wanted to try something else. I have two primers here. I have my primer that I've been using. been using this for two years now. Something like that. I've been using this for a fat minute. A fat minute. So, I already know how this works. I have a base idea of how this works, but I'm going to do half and half because I want to test everything out for real. So I'm going to go in on one side. So let's open her up. This don't smell like nothing. Not nothing for real to me. I don't think I need to read all that. Y'all know what it you know what Miss Girl is. Y'all know who Miss Girl is. I know this is good. I know for a fact it's good. I know it's good. I'm aware that it's good. I just wanted it. Apply and pat into skin. Okay, Miss Pump. Oh, there you go. I don't know how much to use. Now that I don't know. So, I'm going to pat this in. I might need more. Because I didn't put that much. And it's only going in this section. I don't, I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't know how much to use for real. Y'all tell me. Y'all going to tell me. Especially if, like, actual people who do makeup see this. They going to, like, what are you doing? Girl, I don't know. This ain't no tutorial. It's just me. I'm getting a telephone call. Looking at right now, this side look greasy. With the grip primer, it's grease. It's giving grease. But that might be a good thing. It says give it 30 seconds to absorb and activate the grip prior to makeup application. So... I don't know if you can tell. And this is this side. This is this side. It, I don't. I don't know how I'm gonna show this for real. Maybe I can do my back camera first. All right. This side grip. This side hydrate. I didn't even press record, <laughs> but what I was saying was I'm going to use 110 as my main foundation color because it's the closest to my concealer shade, and yes, I do have the 130, and I should patch test, but like, we going to see. Ooh, I'm scared. This looks so dark. I don't know. Yeah, that's too dark. Maybe it will blend out and don't be so bad. Dang it. 
I always do that. I always sit here and get the wrong shade. I'm gonna let that do. I'm gonna stop because I don't know how much I need. Actually, okay, Miss Girl. It's not that bad. I don't know how that. Let me. Yeah, it's not that bad. It blends out pretty good. You can't even really tell. This look like I got. Oh, I'm not supposed to go that far off. I'm so, making the sections into like. This going to be the moisturizer. This going to be the moisturizer. I don't want to test it on both. It's not bad. I don't know. I should have checked if this is supposed to be in full coverage. I did not check. That's my fault. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Because I don't. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be full coverage or not. I, I, just, I might be adding too much. Honestly. So that's the side with the foundation. And that side without foundation at the very moment. But you can't. You can't. Okay. I think I like it. Like, yes, it's a bit darker than my actual skin tone, but you can't really tell. Like, it blended out pretty good. So, and I don't think it's supposed to be full coverage, so I think that helps with the fact I got a shade a little bit too dark. But it's cute. This gonna look crazy. Well, I don't know. It might not look crazy, but... And this one's 120. This look like it's been squeezed out already. I don't know if I should use this. That's the one thing about going to a non-makeup store. Even just store... Well, mostly makeup stores, they more good at not having people using it. I don't know if I should use this. I know it's not my color. But then they're going to think I'm the one. Whatever. Listen. Instant and long lasting hydration. To pump skin. To plump skin. With moisture and reduce the look of fine lines. So I do have a line right here. So... We'll see if that helps. Buy two pumps to clean skin. Should I put it on my face? I'm going to just do this. Ooh. I don't even think I need two pumps for real. I don't know this was it. <laughs> I don't think this is what they meant when they said apply to the skin with two pumps. It's looking like it's matching to me. Hmm. It did smooth this line out a bit. I don't know if you could tell on here. But in person, it's pretty smooth. Okay. To be honest, both are very lightweight. Um, This is not the fullest coverage. Which it says that... I should, I should have read this. Well, this is complexion stick. So, I feel like that would also mean not full coverage, if you get what I'm saying. So, I know they said to go a couple shades darker for a contour and stuff. So, we don't do that. I don't do contour. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Wait a damn minute. Wait. I don't know. It's it's very subtle, but it's giving. Oh my god. Wait. I wasn't ready. 
I wasn't ready. I'm gonna blend it out some more. But, okay, shadow. Okay. This side has a different foundation on it. So it's gonna be a little bit crazier. Not gonna lie. But it's giving. It's giving. I like her. Okay. I like her. Um, I'm just gonna go through all the phases of where everybody be contouring at. I don't really know. It's cute. It's cute, cute. I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer. This one is 100 medium warm. So, this is how I put on my concealer. Because I saw that it was better this way so i started doing it that way okay i messed up putting on my lashes but y'all get the picture okay all right we're gonna go in with the prime i mean <laughs> the finishing spray i suck at this Listen, this smell good. It smell like I don't know. It's giving. It smell good. It is coconut for sure. So I'm going to my eye should be dry now. I'm going to try to bend the lashes a bit. There you go. This side already doing this thing, so I ain't even gonna bother it. I'm gonna do a clear gloss because I ain't on lipstick. I'm more of a gloss, a gloss girl. We're back at the house. I'm taking these lashes off because that's not going to work. I need to use the remover. I'm taking the lashes off because of the fact I didn't cut them because, for one, oh, there you go. For one, I knew, Sorry. I knew I wasn't going anywhere for real. And for two, it was just for the look. Okay, so it's been about four or six hours. And it's it's giving skin. Like, I like it a lot. Like, it still look like my skin on both sides. So, this is a side. These are this side. And I feel like both primers, I don't see, like, I don't know. Maybe I should do it where I'm using both primers on both sides with the same product. Because my forehead not going to really help with that. But for the most part, I feel like... Let's say if you don't have an actual eyelid primer and you're using your regular face primer for that, which a lot of people do, the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer is better for that than the Grip one, at least in my opinion, unless you're going to put concealer on top of Bam! Concealer on top of this, it's better to use this one if you're going to use it for an eyelid primer because this is very sticky. And 
your mileage, fat. So it's like it would be stuck and then the way the product the product takes it takes but the problem i have is that my lid a bit different from this side this is very sticky and then this is more smooth like this is sticky this is smooth so they give off the same vibe but this one has more grab to it and this one got more smoothness to it i like this a lot like miss girl i have a dry i have combination skin but most of the time my skin has dry patches like i have a lot of dry patches so i go for more hydrating things because i'd rather be hydrated than not so i usually i like dewy stuff i don't really like matte stuff because i don't like I don't know, I feel like with matte products, it usually make my face feel like it's something on my face. Because it has to dry down. I feel like with dewier, pro dewier products, it's more breathable. I don't know if that's like a exact science. Would you let me live? I'm almost done. These are very lightweight as well, which I'm very surprised because it's like a crayon you put on your face. But the 110 wasn't bad. Like, like I said, it just looked like I got a tan. I don't know if it shows that for y'all, but in person, it's like I got a tan, which is not bad either. But if I wanted to go for full coverage, it's like I feel like I'll give off a more... Like, you can visibly tell it's darker. Because I don't do all the other stuff with makeup. So, it's like, it could work if I knew how to do other stuff or did more stuff with my makeup. But I'm a simple girly. Like, I'm very simple when it comes to my makeup. Like, literally, most of my makeup involves is highlighter but i do like this brand a lot i would try other stuff i wanted to get the eyelash stuff i mean not eyelash eyeshadow the liquid eyeshadow i wanted that so bad but i couldn't get it but i'm going back for it and i want i'm gonna try to do a pride look with them it'll be real cute real subtle I don't know. I don't know about subtle. I'm lying. When I do color, I do color. I'm going to try these a second time. Um, I went on the website. You can build this up. So it's lightweight and it's buildable. So if you want it to just be semi coverage, you can do that. But if you want it full coverage, you can build on top of it. And I want to try these again. And I'm going to give them another wear test um, on Sunday because I'm going to a graduation party. So that'll be actual wear and going somewhere and not just me not doing anything. Like I really didn't have much planned for today. So, so far I'm going to, I'm also going to get my actual shade in this too. Because I feel like I have a better score for these if i had the stuff in the right shade oh i don't see the thing is i don't want to rate this against the fact that i didn't get the right shades but i like both of them a lot let's just say this i like them a lot and we'll use them again i'll use these again that's what i'm gonna say this Smells great. Skin stayed dewy. Skin was giving skin. Like everything I used today was just skin, skin, skins. It was giving skins. I didn't have any problem with anything lifting up, anything separating, nothing. The primer was good. Both base products were good. And the spray. Like... 
it's nothing bad to say. Like, it's nothing really bad I can really say about it. Like, they were good products. Like, I ain't trying to, like, ride anybody. But, like, literally, they were good products. And they did what I hoped it would do. My thing is I like things that I can build on because it gives me more room to breathe. Other than the fact it's automatically full coverage. If I want it fuller, I can make it fuller. I think that's the thing I like is to be able to build up what type of coverage I want. So I really like these. You can build up the coverage with this too, apparently. Like, I really, really like them. So I don't know if this is a good review or not, but like, if you just a regular person or really starting off with makeup, these are some decent brands. These are some good brands. I hear a lot about Elf. I hear a lot about ColourPop. And Thread is pretty new. So, and they're affordable. So, hey, y'all try it. If y'all gonna blame me that it didn't work out for y'all, go ahead. Because I ain't in way. I'm just a girl.